and, and I mean, there have been times where I'll buy something and, you know, I'll use it twice and it's like, I really don't like this. And I'll either tr give it away or I'll trash it because it's not what I want. Hey, hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Melissa here with another video. So for today, we're gonna do a makeup transformation, but we're gonna focus on how to choose your correct foundation. So before we get started into that, let's get some business done. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you a million times. Let's jump right into this video. As I just said, we are going to be discussing foundation, foundation, foundation. The first thing, if you're the type of person that regardless of your skin tone, some people have dark under eye circles, some people may end up with light ones, you may find that when that happens, your foundation is not a clean slate. It's not an even palette. And so what I like to do, because I do have those darks, so like right here, some of it is shadow, but it's also from my glasses. I have on my contacts now. So what I do, because they are dark, you wanna go with the opposite. So because they are dark, you wanna go with the orangey cream base color to do those color corrections. And so that's what I do. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Here you have, it's a it's an orange base. I have a MAC one that I use sometimes. This is, I think it's in peach. And this is a concealer and I like this one. Again, you're going to color correct to even out those tones. So when you apply your foundation, you'll have an even slate. I'm gonna let that sit because that is a very problem area that is usually very stubborn for me to correct. So I'm kind of just gonna leave that there for now. If anyone hasn't told you, choosing the correct foundation is gonna be a hit or miss thing because not only for shade reasons, but also just for product. There's some people that like stick foundations. There's some people that prefer cream. You may prefer matte. Matte means without the shine. Um, there's gonna be that wants a, a finish, full coverage. There's so many things that goes into choosing a foundation. But the first thing is you have to find your color. Once you find your color in a specific product, you can kind of and the more practice you get, you'll get better. The biggest thing is knowing which products will oxidize. Now, Fenty Beauty is known for not being its true color when you swatch it. So you have to let it sit, you have to let it, and then it goes to your skin. So when I first put on Fenty Beauty, it's like, uh-oh, this isn't gonna match. But as it begins to oxidize, warm up a little bit, it's a perfect skin tone. How do I match? I have three examples here. This is a Juvia's Place foundation. It's my uh, cousin's foundation, and she's, a couple of shades darker than me, but I want to demonstrate. First of all, what do you match to? You see people in the stores matching to here. So unless here matches your face, that doesn't make, it won't help you at all. You wanna go either along your jawline or you want, I tend to do it to the lightest part of my skin because that's what I match. I match the lightest part of my skin. See that? But if you can see the foundation, okay, that's not my color. The next one, I'm gonna go with a foundation from my daughter. She is a little lighter than me. So that's gonna come off as too light. So that's too dark. That's gonna be too light. Do you see that? I'd actually highlight with that color. So that's gonna be too dark. Regardless of where I match it at, that's gonna be too dark and that's gonna be too light. Or even on your chest. Your chest, so you see that? That's the darker color. That's the darker color on my chest. Now let's use the lighter color. And I'm gonna end up wiping all this off. That's the lighter color on my chest. So those are the two foundations on my chest. And that's where and that's where I match my foundation to because I wanna have an even plate once I go down. What matches me? Don't be shy to ask to swatch in the store. They're very good about allowing you to try it out. Don't, and don't just wipe it and go. Let it sit there for a minute. Let's see what happens after a few minutes of it sitting on your skin. Also, lighting. When you are choosing your foundation, make sure the lighting is good. Because if you're doing foundation in an area or in a place that is not very lit, you could actually choose the wrong foundation because, so you see that? It blends into a nice palette. 
and you just want to blend, 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 blend. And there you have it. For this demonstration, I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and it is in hazelnut and that's the one that works for me. One for my daughter was a little bit too light. You can, if you can see it, then that's not a good look. That's not, it's supposed to blend in with your skin. It's supposed to melt, you know, into your skin. Um, and it's the same thing with a more, with a darker, we shouldn't look and say, oh, I can see the difference between where her makeup begins and ends. No, it should be one seamless this application. It, leave a comment down below if you have any questions. And this goes for no matter what skin tone you are. I know that a lot of people, it really doesn't matter. So, actually, you know what, I can't even say that. I know that there are some people that really have a hard time finding their tones. If they're super, super uh, deep, dark, however you wanna say it, a lot of times they have a very hard time and they literally have to mix different foundations and that's okay. Um, in certain climates, I may become a little bit lighter in the winter. I may become a little darker in the summer. So I have you, that's a key. Make sure that you have a summer foundation and a winter foundation if your skin tone changes. If you have oily periods, you may need something that's a little less oily and that's mattifying so that you can combat that. So there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just like, oh, this is just my one and done, unless that works for you. If this is your one and done and that works for you, then that's great, you know, um, you're lucky. But I have several different foundations for different moods that I'm in, but also just for different needs. So social distancing look, let's get that started. Again, I'm just filling in, I'm just filling in. I really don't reshape my brow or add anything else to it. The next thing I'm going to do is apply P. Louise eyeshadow base and as I've stated in previous videos because my eye is hooded I have to keep my eyes closed until this stuff dries completely or else it will crease 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 and then when it's time to apply the eyeshadow it's a hot mess and you blend 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 and you're gonna repeat the same process on the other eye so there you go just because I apply in certain steps does not mean that you have to apply. There are some people that do eyes first, then foundation. I need to do foundation first. I just wouldn't be able to see the look without it. Don't be afraid to try different brands' foundations. As you can see, we have three different brands here and I have actually, I have foundation from each one. I like the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Obviously, this is not my color, so I won't use it, but I have the, I like it in the stick. I have the stick foundation and I love it in, um, for Anastasia Valley Hills. I am not a huge, huge fan of the Juvia's Place foundation, but I, it, I like the application of it, but I just don't think it has longevity. The Born This, the Too Faced Born This Way is one of my absolute favorites. My second app, my first absolute favorite is the Fenty Beauty one, but I've just, I've been kind of using this one for the past couple of months because I just love it. Don't tell Riri, but it's the truth. So again, don't be afraid to try different brands. You know, if the, if the brand has your shade or your perceivable shade, give it a try. Even if you just give it a try in a store. A lot of people like, oh, L'Oreal's for white people or Revlon's for white people. That's, that's a thing of the past. There are some brands that do not cater, do not have the shades for darker skin, but you know what? There's a lot of makeup brands out nowadays that are just coming for people's necks and they have so many shades for all the beautiful queens. So it just, I can't express it enough. Play, play, play until you get to the brand that you absolutely love. It, and I mean, there have been times where I'll buy something and you know, I'll use it twice and it's like, I really don't like this. And I'll either tr give it away or I'll trash it because it's not what I want. I do know of some people that will return makeup, you know, once they use, I kind of don't like doing that just because I just feel like I used it. But you know, there, I know people that do it all the time. There's nothing against that if the store takes it back. But you've only used it twice, you don't like it, take it back. Carly Bible in a while. Ah, she is so underused. I am going to go into my Carly Bible 
palette and nine times out of ten every time I use the Carly Bible no doubt I always use my Jackie Ina palette to just kind of balance out Carly Bible is a really girly palette to me if there was ever a palette like for a little girl to me like it just says hey I'm a little girl I think this uh, palette is it I'm gonna take Cindy A, it's a cute peach color so most makeup stores are open you can go into the makeup stores and you can try it out but let's just say you're like oh no I don't want to go in the makeup store I don't want to do that I want to social distance I recommend that you go into Pinterest and on Pinterest they nine times out of ten will have the brand of foundation and then they'll just just Google. Let's say you wanted to know what your shade is or what your shade is likely to be in the Too, pa too Faced Born This Way. Well, first of all, you you know me and you can say, okay, I'm a little bit lighter than Melissa. I'm a little bit darker than Melissa. I'm a little bit warmer. I'm a little bit cooler. So if she is hazelnut and I'm about two shades lighter than her, then I want to find out what two shades lighter than her would be. This is as if you don't want to go into the store. If you're saying, okay, um, but the other part about that is on Pinterest, they have swatches. You look up the brand and then you say swatch and it'll show what it looks like in every skin tone. Definitely go in that, see that socket right there? Once you go on Pinterest and you're like, oh, I found the swatches and I think I know what color I am. Don't forget, don't be afraid to order it. Order online. Are we gonna leave that there? No, we're gonna blend. Okay, mommy. Okay, so there you have it. This is our look. Don't forget to share this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any more questions about foundation where where's the place to get it from does it matter if it's drugstore does it matter and it doesn't it's again you can find good makeup in all different places but also you have to just play you have to try it out you have to figure out what's going to be your brand and the only way that you're going to do that is if you just go into the stores and you just play around in it take it home use it for a couple of times and then you know trash the ones that you're like nope absolutely that's not for me and then keep the ones that you're really really satisfied with with that being said as always thanks for watching this video i would love to hear from you i'd love to hear what your favorite brand of makeup is but in the meantime always be kind thanks for watching bye bye